up a finger, it got my eyes ringing. I'm puffing on shit you go cold to. My pack have your core jumping right off the bottle with water. I can shift the poles too. Yeah. I said the uh, Uber, she hopped in real fluid. Little nigga, not sure what she told you. Post nigga, I get to the bag. No million or dab, I just hit the soul. Alright, man. So, I'm Rose. And this is Turbo Crop C Rob, man. How y'all feeling? And uh, this explicit content. It's gonna be the first episode. So, C Rob, man, tell us what we doing today, dog. So, um, explicit content. We got a lot of hot takes. Um, a lot of content. Com- uh, damn. Get it together, bro. No, you supposed to clap for me. No, get on program, bro. You did this before. <laughs> We got a lot of hot takes. We got a lot of um, controversial topics that we'll be discussing. My brother Rose here. Um, just, you know, everything that you see on Twitter is just brought to you. Yeah, in live form. Powered by the film culture. That way. So, uh, to kick it off, I think we're going to talk about uh, Uzi and the yeah. album. We got a lot of albums last year, 2018. A lot of music. But we never saw Eternally Take. So, the question here is, are we ever going to get it? What do you think, Rose? Are we going to get it? My opinion, no. <clears throat> uh, I, so, wait, I, wait. I'll, I'll, all of our, uh, whoever's viewing this, they might not know what's going on, so I think we should talk about the situation first. Go ahead. You, you, you get more of the history of it. The okay. whole label. Thing. So, uh, yeah, we know Uzi is working. Well, Uzi is... I think this is his third studio album. Eternal Retake is being held back right now by him um, and other reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, from my understanding, Uzi is not liking his deal. Um, Sad Uzi. He signed with Generation Now's uh, label owned by Don Cannon um, and Dita Drama. Uzi seems to be kind of the only talent that they have over there, maybe. What do you think, Rose? They got a couple of, they got a lot of good artists, though. A lot of great artists in generation now. But it seems like um, Uzi has put in a lot for them at the label. And because of that... He's definitely, he's definitely the main... Uh, he's definitely the main the main thing from, from any of my knowledge. He's the showstopper in generation now, we should say. Um, but they also have other artists, like Jack Harlow, Kaluminati, some other guards they have. Um, but... To sum it up, Uzi um, is basically in a deal that he doesn't like, and he's holding his album because of that deal, hoping that with that halt of his release, um, something will be changed with his deal. Um, and until then, he's looked like he's retired from music. You saw he cut his dress the other day on Instagram. So, and uh, so all that being said, with all the loopholes that goes into. Paperwork and signing deals. I think Uzi. Even and then even uh, when he tried to drop that, uh, I forgot what it was. Because he the thing is, something the, under the, yeah, right, right, right. The, the, the label what he's trying to drop is Eternal Take, and with that is the label owns a percentage of that album for the production. Mm. Um, that they have put into the you know what I'm saying. It's, so it's a production deal. He's he's signed to Generation Now as an artist, but what I'm saying is. Uh, I'm pretty sure Don Cannon has a lot of produced beats on that. And he also owns the label. That being said, Don Cannon isn't going to release his music with the beats. You know what I'm saying? His production without the deals that he wants. And Uzi is not happy with his deal, so therefore, the music is at a stalemate. So, if if there was any projection, what did you say? When do you think you'll get it? I hope that we get it by the end of this year. October, you know, Uzi a little spooky. He gave us some Hall- Halloween vibes. I'll be satisfied, but I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm upset for Uzi. You feel for Uzi as well. I feel for him. Bro, music. He was crazy. he was just like a you know he had XO tour life eight times platinum. What he, happened? He, he was exactly. just off, just off the freshman list, and then you know now. I mean, it, it's pretty evident though. It's you know all that money coming in. It's kind of hard to you know what I'm saying it, it got to get trickled down somewhere. Mm-hmm. So. You say end of this year. I say honestly, if we don't get it by, I, I guess I give it to September, October, in there the fall, right after the. But like what? you said, he did drop something under his name, which was Samir Woods that tape, and then they got snatched down. 
We're not sure who really dropped it though. Samir Woods was the the host though. That was a great tape. It was like thirty songs, right? I'm not tripping. And that's what I'm saying. So it's a lot out there that could be fixed. So if it's not situated, then I just don't think it'll come. Maybe get Uzi Gang the label. Whole new sound. He brings some people from Philly up. Upcoming rappers, you know. He just uh he got that song. I haven't heard from Uzi. He just he just dropped a feature. Wait, uh what's his name? Shabazz? Nah man. Is that is that the way you're talking about? Um I'm not sure. He dropped a feature with a with an artist from Philly and uh they recorded it in Philly. He seems to be, you know, he just recorded that live video on Philly the other day. Yeah. Um, it, it had a video, right? He was just dancing. He, pre he previewed a new song. Oh, uh, you talking but, about that. But, you know, he was just, you know, he, he looks pretty happy in his regular life. Yeah, so, well, October. October. That's the deadline for a turn out take. Honestly. But, then again, you never know. Moving on to what? The female rappers? Yeah, who you got? So, let's see. Uh, we definitely got Cardi up there. She the, she the head of your game right now? Uh, I would say right back. now there's no, there, let's, just, let's just go with no general order. No general order. No general order. I, want, I think we should all stop disrespecting Nikki though. Everybody should stop disrespecting Nikki and give her the credit. Cause she had everybody's MySpace page, everybody's, you know, everybody on lock. Hey, bro, uh, Nikki and Young Money. Cause you know Young Money was running, bro, they was running shit for real. I, I, I feel you for- I, Running I, shit, bro. I, 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 I don't Young feel Money nobody- running I don't feel That's like why nobody Birdman, her though. You see Thug just signed a new deal with Birdman. I, I, on the Instagram. I, I, I just, I just, that's, and, that's completely separate though. Thug yeah, and Birdman, because Birdman's still relevant though, that's what I'm saying, because he built off Young Money, which helped off Nikki, bro. Nikki did a lot. Nikki that's, did a that's lot. That's great finding Nikki, but they be tweaking. What does that mean? <laughs> she, she capped it off. I, I'm sorry, bro, but it's just a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of bullshit outside the music, you feel me? That, uh, that I don't feel like her music is not being disrespected. I feel like everybody recognizes Nicki as, as being it, but you know the the the, the Barbie on the kick go though. The, exactly, you get what I'm saying, bro. You. Like, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, no, I'm not gonna lie. Now, I think we should just stop disrespecting her because of her past. But now, she it, she's I don't want to say she's lost it, but it's it, not the same Nicki. From how I'm, I'm not feeling <laughs> super bass vibes. She from off house. Super bass was an amazing song though. Is she up from off house, bro? Um, um, so that's what I'm saying. But yeah, she definitely up there. I would just say not like in, in game on lock right now. As far as and just as far as media, uh, media brands, uh, sponsorships and all this shit. Cardi got it, bro. Yeah, Cardi definitely popping. Cardi got it. With the power behind QC, Pepsi and, uh, commercials, Subo. Just a little bit, and City Girls. Definitely with that QC power too. You know, JT will be coming home soon. They keep, I don't know, they keep saying she's, I, I'm confused how she's still getting promo for parties and she's in jail, but they just need to promote my young Miami. I hope she's yeah. going to, I hope she's going to cut from all She just parties. performed, I believe she just performed in Miami. During yeah, spring break. spring break, right. Yeah, during spring break. She just performed. Oh yeah, they had about two, that's what I'm saying. They had about two, three, four, maybe five events that uh, Miami showed up to. But like I said, JT's oh. still in jail. I'm hoping she's seeing some profit of these, cause you know every artist, every artist is getting a little decent check for a walkthrough these days. So I'm hoping, you know, at least some of that going to some commissary or something. But, but yeah, um, City Girls is definitely their last tape. Uh, Man, I don't think it, I don't think it did what it, what it was supposed to do for QC, but it was a decent tape. They had a few little hits on there. The twerk yeah. challenge went crazy. We all know about that. The twerk challenge. Yeah, obviously. Flew it out, and now Megan the Stallion got everybody with the big old, big old freak challenge. Freak. So it big seemed like freak. you know, if you want to be a high rapper, just come out with a, a, a popping challenge and get everybody Poppin on challenge. your wave. But I feel Megan the Stallion, Stallion energy though. You feel me? You feel that like shit? Big dick energy. I don't need fuck. That's just her shit, folks. 
Like she, she, I feel like, and that's why I fuck with Cardi. True, true to that shit. I really mean, feel you. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I just, just hope the industry don't burn out Cardi. Hey, he can do it. But yeah. um, that's what I'm saying. I don't know, bro. Don't it's know. too much. It's too much attention, bro. She, she got it. But so we got Megan, Cardi, Nikki. Respect your elders too. Uh, City Girls. Little Kim. Missy Elliott. Yeah, I mean, pay homage to the legends. But who, Lil Kim or Missy Elliott? You got to pick. Lil Kim, all either one. You feel me? Lil Kim, all the way. So I did honorable mention. What? Uh, you can't forget. Um, you know. Gina, there you go. Gina, she's a not a rapper, bro. I was, I, was, I was gonna say, you feel me? Since we spoke on Missy Elliott, Sierra White, feel me? nice with the lyrics so. though. Speak more about her, brother. She's a um, okay. So Tia like female rapper. Um, she definitely weird as hell. Out of out of oh, she got the weird video. Rico, Rico nasty. Okay, yeah, yeah she's up there. Rico. Nah, that'd be a crazy collab though on some shit. Rico, I only heard a few of uh, Tia White songs though. Rico, for but real. I definitely seen her videos and I, 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 that's that's how I was able to know who Shorty was. You feel me off back like, mm -hmm. and when you listen, Shorty kind of fine. Okay, okay, okay. But nah, Rico definitely, she got these hoes raging. She the little, she the little Uzi, a, a female rapper right now. I'm not gonna, I, I don't even I like to, I don't even. Trav, bro. She be ra she, she. Trav? Oh mosh pit, she's mosh pit. Ready, yeah, shout, shout out DJ Miles too. Gotta she's DJ mosh pit Miles. ready, bro. Oh, bro. Miles. Yeah, he be oh, bro. She tactical, folks. Oh, God. She tactical, folks. And I'll fuck with it. I'll fuck with it. But no, nah, yeah, a lot of the, a lot of those a lot of those uh, fe upcoming or a lot of the prominent female artists right now are definitely freshmen in the game. Yeah, the surge, the surge. The surge. It's just the, it's the need for female artists right now. It's 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 time. It's time. No more no more bubblegum music. Spit no that bubble real shit. Yeah, because Megan on him on that freestyle hard. You, you ain't nobody doing that no more. They doing the shit. Speaking of bubblegum artist six nine. Ain't nobody doing it no more. They doing the shit. Simple as that. As simple as that. Six nine is never getting out. Oh, can um, can we not like speak about? Okay, that's a sensitive su subject for you. Is it, it is? Okay. It is, bro. Six nine, bro. I mean, I don't feel sorry. I don't either. We're not gonna speak on them. I don't feel sorry. He's uh, not gonna pick on him. I don't think I need to feel sorry. Uh, I feel like I feel like there's no need for explanation. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. We're not gonna speak on them. So we're just gonna we're gonna, we're gonna keep, keep talking about these. Uh, so oh my so you so like I said, a lot of the female artists are um are definitely upcoming freshmen in the game right now. Yeah. So so let's let's so talk let me about your the top. Though. Let me let's, let's let's give them a top ten list. Let me hear your five and I'm gonna come five and then we're gonna have ten. All right. So we freshmen like 2018 up. Yeah, you know, uh, new in the game. You know, still fresh. Haven't made a list yet. Haven't really got no awards. You know what I'm saying? Uh, still waiting on a little bit of recognition for they to have their official stamp in the game. You know what I'm saying? Official. They might have. A, you can. You can. You can definitely have a record deal to be on the, on the list though. Definitely. Most artists have a record deal who are on the list. I think some of the few artists like Chance. He was on that joint. Uh, I'm not sure. Was, yeah. Chance freshman. He was on a freshman list before without a record oh, deal, is what oh, I'm saying. Oh, 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 okay. okay Chance is okay, not, okay. 2014. I was about to, whoa, I was about to, excuse me. Uh, but I got Juice. Okay, I got him too. The Baby. Okay, North Carolina. He, he said he the best rapper out though, The Baby. He the prettiest Southern, what'd he say? Prettiest Southern. <laughs> he talking his shit, bro. Rilo Rodriguez and No Cap, we gonna consider them one. We gonna consider them one for right now. They're a group duo. I, I feel like as it, it, much. Those are a little. Like baby. even though they you have, gotta, you gotta give a background on the artist too. Some people. Even okay, know. so Rilo Rodriguez and No Cap are uh, little baby artists. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, pretty much, and they do have their own separate bodies of work, but majority of the the, the work they've done had that I've considered hot. Hot, hot, hot. Need to hear has been has been them together or on features with little baby uh being on um 
What 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 is the little baby's album name? Street gossip. Street gossip. Yeah, uh, I believe uh, no cap is on. I don't need no friends. And, I don't uh, need no friends. Rilo uh, is on. Uh, ooh, ooh, dreams to reality. Yep, that is it. So we got them. Megan Thee Stallion. Uh, Lil Key. Key talk to him. I got Key talk to him. Key just talking to him right now. He got this. Happy birthday, Lil Key. It was his birthday yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to shout out shout out shout out shout out to Key. Shout out to all of them. Shout out to Watts, baby. Yeah, they. Hey, what? And Lil got the game on lock. I ain't gonna lie. Lil just has it in a stronghold, bro. Oh yeah, QC. Gunner. Shot, you can't forget uh, Street Exact. Shout out to Two Chains. You feel me? Two Chains. He got his Gucci's own. Gucci's still very relevant. Ten Seventeen. Two Chains got his own little true universe. You know the TRU going on. So, but back know. to the fresh. All right. So you, you done with your five? And, uh, oh, honorable mention Valet. Yeah, Chicago. It, well, so how many was that? That was six. So uh, with the honorable mention, you added because you're taking away from mine. So <laughs> go give me your five back so I can get, give you. Juice, the baby, Rallo, Rodriguez, No Cap. Together, it's Megan and Stallion, Lil Key. All right, yeah, coming out uh, strong. I got Lil TJ from New York. Uh, definitely a freshman. Um, no real cosigns right now. Uh, he got he got a couple songs with Polo G out of Chicago. That's about it. Uh, you know, a few features, but um, his videos do a lot of numbers. We talking millions. He just dropped yesterday. He got six hundred thousand um, off bat. So uh, got him coming out strong. And I got Valet out of Chicago. Um, Def Jam, good music artist. Uh, definitely got one of the most unique flows in the game right now. It's definitely getting bitten by every artist almost. Um, now I got Lil Key out of Atlanta. Like I said, Key, Key talk to him. Then we gonna go back to Chicago. I got uh, Juice World, you feel me? Interscope artist. Um, you know, Juice, that nigga's on fire right now. Fresh out the burbs. Um, Overseas, international. Yeah, bro, he's on world tour right now. Shout out 150. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's, you know, they just signed up to, um, you know, Shout out them boys. All them, shout out my boy Mike P. Definitely shout out them boys. DJing with him. Um, yeah. And then to close my list, I got Tierra Wack. Again, I'm going to bring her back into it. She definitely a hot list. Uh, for, you feel me? I think she definitely one of the most slept on female artists right now. Yeah, I know. But a lot of. Because I'm I, not going to lie to y'all. I'm, I'm very direct. Don't know who that is. I'm sorry. A lot of female artists I slept on right now. And I I'm think sorry. what's going on with, you know. Sorry. With Megan and Nikki and or Megan and Cardi and them, they gonna open a, open up that that little. You just saw Dreezy and Dreezy and Megan and, uh, and uh, Key and Key Queen and Queen Key. Key was they was pouring up Henny last weekend oh. together. But so that's gonna that's why we here we expanding the yeah, knowledge exactly. out there because it's it's too much music out here, man. It's, it, I ain't gonna lie to you, it's saturated. You know the game you got. So we gonna keep it real, real raw. And real, uncut real explicit real you get, raw you, uncut you did so uh yeah so you know earlier in the year a couple, couple weeks ago we had the grammys right um and who, it, who it was, was it was actually it was, I, I, I never really canceled the grammys but i remember they tried to cancel the grammys a couple years ago but we're not going to talk about that but um but why not well kanye ben said we should never have award shows um because it places, kanye, artists, right, right. it places artists on the pedestal you feel me and it's not really fair so with that being said, I said we talking to this best hip hop album, um, which was Invasion of Privacy, Cardi B. You know, she won that joint. Uh, Cardi brought home the bacon. Her her and her fiance husband Offset is a you know hip hop artist. <laughs> Didn't get nominated, but Father Four just came out, so uh, yeah, we might see a nomination for the 2019 and, and, awards. And that's what I mean. I, I still haven't got around to all the Father Four. I believe I've heard like maybe one song get. Hell of recognition. I play some more songs. You, you said recognition. I'm, yeah, okay. Incredible recognition. I like that CeeLo Green. He got CeeLo Green on that joint. Is hot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I've, I've been heard. But look though, so for best album we had, we had Cardi. She took on the prize. You feel me? But in the race it was Daytona Pusher. Right. Um, Travis. We had Travis Scott Astro World. Right. Everybody loved the album. Mac. I don't know if we all loved the album. We had Mac Miller. Yeah, rest in peace, Mac. Um, I don't know if we all love Trav album or do we like his tour, but that's a you know that's another story. So um, and merch, then merch, merch, and then we got and we got Nipsey Hustle with Victory Lap. We all put together with twenty plus tracks almost. Um, great album, flow all right though. So I, I don't know. I mean, can't do it. Cardi, My can't do you it. have to think about the times that we you know it's 
2019 it's a lot going on like i said the female artist is, is booming right now so you got to think about what cardi just did for the music industry and what they saw in her when they nominated her and then not only nominated her picked her to win so uh, i think she she won for very monumental reasons but obviously we all know she didn't have the most traditional hip-hop album right and i believe that's why i'm not saying mm, I, w I would give her a, a a pioneer, a pioneer title. You feel me? That, oh. To to kick down some of the doors, or just shit, or bringing back some of the 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 pride and just being yourself and, and, and rapping and doing your fucking thing. Cause I mean, come on, bro. We talking about love and hip hop. To yeah, I mean, but that's what I'm saying. It's, it's more so image though, because you know that's what I'm saying. Cardi got a lot of writers. You feel me? All that all that's not her original process so that's why i say you feel me but you got that that take like, away from the original the bounce the bounce and stuff uh culture and we look when motherfuckers those female uh, artists are going crazy bro and writing and producing their own shit and getting but that's, that's not cardi and it's not cardi but i'm just saying now people is seeing that type of sound and seeing these types of things and, right and that's out there oh i can win a grammy for this shit you get what I'm saying? No, That's fair. what I'm saying. So, so definitely respect it, but like you said, not the traditional album. You know? More traditional speaking, uh, I would look at Daytona or Victory Lap. You feel me? Of course, Daytona was hot, uh, hot as hell. What, seven songs. Seven songs, all fire. <laughs> Songs of pure fire. But that's the thing, Kanye. He executed that you feel me, perfectly, God, in my opinion. His, even, even even I say his his album was, I say six out of seven. That that first track was kind of weird, but it was definitely you feel me five to me. Cute. But didn't have a little personal opinion. Even the cap on Tiana Taylor's album that everybody was saying circulated. I, I felt like the album her album did very good. I mean that's, that's another the thing, bro. Artist. Any, who, who's really looking to listen to 20 Tiana Taylor songs? You know what I'm saying? I think he did what he had to do, and he gave her seven great songs. He gave everybody has that. That's what I'm saying. He gave Pusha seven great. He gave himself seven great. Everybody has that. So that's what I'm saying to debunk the cap. The really what it is. I mean, even even you know the whole thing about the the description. You know how. Everybody else in good music's description on their albums had basically essays almost that hers was a, a sentence long or something like that. You I'm know. pretty sure she could have gave herself a better description if she needed to. I feel like it was um, a lot of cap. I'll say Daytona was the best album though. A lot of controversy into the album, you know, even down to the cover they had Whitney Houston. Uh, yeah. her bathroom on us, you know, her bad, her, her dying bathroom sink on there, but I won't. That was Whitney Houston the family fault. Kanye paid them for that picture. They should have never sold it. You know, that's just how that's how life works. Yeah, you, you go with that Republican shit. You buy something, <laughs> you know. If I was, you know what I'm He's a Republican. <laughs> that's the way life goes, man. If you pay, if you want it, you can buy it. You can have it. <laughs> oh my God! If you want it, you can buy it. You can have it, man. You know. But just to speak on the Astro River album, you know, bro, uh, I, it's still, it's still. I, I, I still play it, yeah. No, not, not even just the album itself, but the everything that came with the album, the the the, the merch, the, the merch, the 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 amusement part, everything, the Nike release, everything tied into the album. So I don't know, bro. I feel like, honestly. All that really matters is the wizard. <laughs> yeah, 2019 Grammy. <laughs> Cause you know Future Thugs got their first Grammy, so I'm hoping Future bring home that solo joint. We still waiting for Thugs album. We still waiting for Eternal Take. 2019 gonna be an interesting, interesting year for albums, to say the least. I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say this. If if my man's heard his get his songs from stop to leaking the shit he put out for is gonna be great i'm telling you because these shit that's leaking for that's getting out on youtube and all this other shit them bitches is hot them bitches is hot but they're not dropping right i see what you're saying because that was the whole problem with the uh with the first album but we still swerving man we still swerving i'm just i'm gonna just say that yeah, and a lot of cap going to that too. That bitch was hot. Still swerving. 
is is hot. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand what people really expect out of out of certain albums because that was an album dropped with to me no no promotion, no real promotion after just dropping uh, Swervo. You know what I'm saying? So so a little shaky. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it did what it needed to do for the purpose of what it was dropped for. And I feel like it had a high seven out of what, 13? 13, 14, I believe. 13, 14, so 50, 50 ball, 50% 50 ball. Mm, I said F. Uh, Yikes. So, uh, uh, speaking uh, of F, you know, uh, no failures. Oh, whoa. We're going to introduce something that uh, we're going to bring every week. So, um, with the explicit content, uh, podcast show we are going to have top soon artists of the week uh top soon is a mixtape series gonna be hosted Actually, cut, cut that out you don't even yeah. watch out for my shit y'all top soon we're gonna host our <laughs> top soon artists of the week uh every week here on our explicit content episode so here uh, my first artist is gonna be stack benji we'll Ooh. check out his video evil 15k e-v-o-l there y'all go man check it out dog see and y'all next week yeah man it's fuck out my face. Oh, 